are you being stressed lately it's unfortunate to ask but uh, have you recently lost a loved one are you being under a lot of pressure in this uh, work from home arena or maybe i would say the new concept of your career are you being emotionally drained because of this coronavirus thing are you worried that what is going to happen next year or maybe how you going to take care of your family and you are seeing a direct effect of that emotional draining on your smoking if yes this top podcast is for you emotions play a very vital role in our life i would say is the fuel of our journey towards life because through emotions only we can feel and experience things experience episodes experience situations in our life even some certain times feel the extreme highs and extreme lows in our life and when we associate smoking with these episodes we only see it's getting increased and increased even though sometimes under the pressure of fear we tend to smoke less cigarettes but somehow it balances us in the end an emotional person always goes through a lot of ups and downs in his life that's the design of a emotional person if you would say i'm a very strong person i'm a very headstrong uh, kind of a guy i don't feel emotions that's not entirely true as a human you are incubated with it so whether you like it or not but even if you feel proud even if you feel confident at times you feel i'm at the top of the world it is same journey of the high side of the emotion at times we will feel that i'm feeling fearful i don't feel that great i feel jealous i feel rushed this time uh, i feel certain times i feel rage towards my own life the people around me or the situations or maybe the most classic one i feel uncertain when i see many posts on facebook or maybe google or youtube and it just makes me uncertain and the next moment that you experience is like you experience the smoke stick is in your hand the lighter is out you're smoking and you're thinking about that episode or maybe something that is from the recent past or maybe something from a very distant past but you are thinking about it have you experienced that i remember when i used to smoke i was in singapore and uh, to get a job in singapore is the most hardest thing that i have ever experienced in my life i did my mba from there and uh, there was a batch about 60 to 120 uh, students and only six or seven people got the jobs the rest of them they had to fly back to india i'm from india by the way and i went there to do my higher studies so obviously there was a huge pressure on everyone around us at that time uh, i had to come back to india and i had to go back to singapore again for applying the jobs we at that time it, singapore government was kind enough to give us one year to apply for the jobs i got a job in a company and uh, my uh, visa got rejected in singapore government decides if you can work for certain company or not and they call it as e pass so my e pass was cancelled and for 3 months i was i was like completely uncertain what life is 
in the next one year or maybe what is going to come is completely unknown and at that point i found that a guy like me who was smoking um probably 5 to 6 cigarettes on an average day was smoking around about one packet per day and the cost my goodness uh, was skyrocketed at that point i was lucky that uh, in that whole 3 months i got a huge wake up call that if you have to have success in your life if you have to have courage in your life you cannot find that support or that motivation just by smoking a cigarette cigarette smoking is a false fact that you have created for your own self that this will help me to have a little closure towards my problem for a temporary period of time but in reality that moment stays for fractions of seconds and you're again in the same boat in that rough sea of course i uh, when i got into smoking about a packet every day my lungs actually were crying that but he just stop don't do this my throat was crying don't do this to us this is a precious body and you're just screwing it up and one day it happened one day i was brushing my teeth and i coughed so hard that the blood came out of my mouth and i saw my brush red in color and you know when i spit that blood with that toothpaste in that white color beautiful basin i was so so shocked at that point i've decided that if i don't change now change is going to decide what happens with me and at that moment i've taken serious if uh, you know efforts to quit smoking but a very big realization that happened with me is like life is already uncertain and many of us who feel it very strongly especially the emotions like fear uncertainty rage anger certain times you know deep deep sorrow self criticism that actually drags you down and when you go down in that journey the only thing that you rely on is the cigarettes because that's the most easiest thing to do the most easiest escape cigarette or maybe alcohol and you actually waste your resources your emotional energy your physical energy your spiritual energy and you feel that things are not changing but the fact is you have a great opportunity to change in that moment to quit that habit because if you quit that habit you see things the way they are and then you take the right action most of the people they are always in the loop that nothing is happening in my life no change no one loves me my destiny is like that and uh, i don't know what to do uh, my life is unstuck at the moment uh, or maybe my life is stuck at the moment i don't know how to get unstuck and i I really don't know what's there in my life why should i live what should i why should i take so many efforts because i know i'm going to go to drain but the only one thing that they continue to do in that whole dialogue is like they don't quit smoking smoking is always increasing in their life they can't see that because emotions are attached with that action because whenever you see a video on facebook or maybe tiktok actually it is banned in many countries now but many other platforms some similar platforms are coming or maybe on youtube you get that temporary gratification it gives you a emotional high for a very few seconds and when you 
club that you get your dopamine hits same thing is applied with your emotions whenever you feel frustrated you feel sorrow you feel fearful you feel scared you associate your feeling of calmness or maybe a feeling of relaxation or maybe getting away from that situation for you know for a few minutes even for a few seconds you associate that act with smoking you feel that smoking is actually helping me to relax or maybe leave this discomfort for some time but in reality it is just a illusion that you have created for your own self so that you feel calm you feel relaxed when you quit smoking like i have asked the same question to many people who were smoking when you feel trapped into that emotions what you do they say that what we used to do was whenever we used to feel trapped in those emotions we used to go and smoke now what you do they say they say that we have become more stronger and we know how to handle our emotions now and i feel bingo that's my own experience as well nothing is more stronger than your own consciousness even your deep rooted emotions once you face them you know how to face them next time too that's how you built up your own consciousness to face them it doesn't obviously it doesn't happen in one day but it takes time and the the same way your habit wasn't formed in one day it took time so it will take some time to quit this habit too but if you don't prepare yourself to quit you are at the same stage if you wanna travel from one city to another city it starts with buying the ticket of the transportation and the second thing that you have to do is pack your bags get the necessary stuff that you going to need when you arrive at the different the city that you want to go but if you keep on procrastinating that i will go next time i will i don't have clothes i don't have a right bag i don't feel like going this time you will never reach to your destination it's a simple logic if you want to be smoke free you need to understand your deep rooted emotions first what are the top emotions that you feel every time you smoke and once you know what are the top emotions i feel every time something triggers me or some something unfortunate happens you know the reason why are you smoking and once you decode your reason of smoking whatever you feel smoking is helping you replace it with that same thing it's like if you know sugar is bad for you you can go for sugar free products but first thing that you have to know is like sugar is bad for you and what to do about it if you do not accept that you will not be open for the alternatives same thing if you feel gums and patches is going to help you you tried it it didn't work why because you never worked on your emotions first it doesn't matter if you apply any thing alternative therapies to be smoke free but if you do not make a foundational change on your mind nothing is going to work out that's the experience of thousands of people who are trying to be smoke free every day and they relapse they fail and then they blame the products then they blame their own self then they blame the world but in reality you know what is happening that person knows what is happening
So my dear friends, if you want to be smoke free, the first thing that you have to do is understand the top emotions that you go through every time you smoke or you are persuaded to smoke. Once you know that, you know you have arrived 50% on the journey to be smoke free. If you think this podcast or this video is making 5% value in your listening abilities or maybe your understanding of the smoke free journey hit the like button hit the subscribe button and uh, if you have any questions do a small effort write it down into the comment box i know it takes a lot of efforts to ask any questions but as i said if you want to reach to another city you have to pack your bags you have to buy a ticket and you have to mentally be prepared that i want to travel so why don't you travel light why don't you start with addressing your issues of your life the emotions i would be very very happy to answer them i read all the comments personally i'm anand i'm your smoke free coach and thank you very much for being a part of the smoke free journey with me thank you thank you very much